This is me in 2018, working as a civil engineer back in India. Every day, almost every day, I was hating myself for the job that I was doing. I was thinking in my mind that I put four years to get this degree, and at the end of the day, it was a waste of time. I was literally grinding myself for a bare minimum salary. And at that time, I was thinking in my mind that my field, the field of civil engineering, is actually good, but I'm not at the right place. So to find the better opportunity to have a good work-life balance, I decided to come to Canada for a higher education. Fast forward to September 2019. I was in Canada. I was studying project management. During my graduation, I was talking to a number of individuals who was graduated before me. And by talking to them, I realized that the position, the situation of civil engineers in Canada is quite similar as in India. People literally working as a lab technician after getting their graduate degree from the Concordia or McGill, and they are making literally just above bare minimum salary. And by hearing all of this thing, I was quite frustrated. So I decided that I won't go for this field anymore. And at that time, I also decided that I will go for a field where I can work remotely. I have a good work-life balance. Or I can make at least 70% more than the minimum wage. Fast forward to July 2021. I was working in McDonald's, making minimum wage, hating myself, and I still hadn't figured it out. What should I do in my life? But at that time, I was doing two good things. Number one, I was learning French. And number two, I was continuously, I was regular basis, I was attending the career meetups. And by attending those career meetups, I realized that at that time, there was a huge hype around the data field. So I went on YouTube, I saw some videos, and I, I just came to know that what data guys do in their job. And at that time, I, I was thinking that I can do this thing because I have a degree in civil engineering. So I have those kind of analytical thinking that we need to work in the data field. So from the next day, I started to learn MS Excel, SQL, Python, Power BI, and whatever it takes to be a data analyst. So I gave myself three months to learn all of this stuff as much as possible. And at that time, I was working on McDonald's full time. So literally, I used to learn all of this stuff during night. So after learning everything as deep as possible, I decided to apply for a job. And it was the toughest part in my journey. One application, two application, one rejection, two rejection. Over the course of one month, I got around 70 or 80 rejection and still I had no luck. But at that time, I decided to do one thing, and that is I decided to look into the profile of data analyst on LinkedIn to get to know that what they are doing. By observing the profile of number of individuals, I realized that they all have one thing common. So people who is working as a data analyst had no prior experience, had no rated degree in the data industries. They are doing one thing, and that is they started the job in other field and over the year or over the month, they are switching themselves in this data room. At that time, my option was limited. I didn't want to continue my work in McDonald's because it was draining. Number two, I don't want to continue my career in the field of civil engineering. So I decided to follow this approach. And I said myself that over the course of next month, I will apply in the position where I can use at least MS Excel. And I think at that time I was fortunate enough or whatever the reason, within the next 15 days, I found one job in the healthcare industry as a purchasing clerk. And my salary was just above minimum wage. While working there as a purchasing clerk, I was playing with the database. I mean, I used to refresh the concept of SQL, Python, and Tableau by playing with the database. I was fortunate enough that after two months of my joining, they had one position for entry-level data analysis. So I decided to approach the manager who was managing this position. Manager told me that she cannot give me this position because I hadn't any experience, I hadn't any degree in this field. But after a few days, she changed her mind and she told me that she can give me one month to prove myself. And literally from that day to one month, I put every possible effort to prove myself. And finally, after one month, I got the position as a data analyst. So after that, I worked for five to six months for the same company. And then I changed my company again. And here I am. 
I'm working as a data analyst for one of the largest finance company in Canada. And this is my story. So to put it in the nutshell, everything we discuss, I want to say that I'm not against any kind of work or any kind of field. And I firmly believe that every type of work and every field is matter in this world. But I think it's up to you. What is your life's priority? In my case, my priority will be, was and is always money and work-life balance. So decide what is your life priority and make a decision according to that. And believe me, you won't regret after it.